Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. Bob Papa with two-time Super Bowl champion Carl Banks. And speaking of Super Bowls, Logan Ryan knows a thing or two about that. Carl, he was a much needed and well-added acquisition for this Giants team. He brought a lot to the table, and you're going to dive deep on it. Yeah, we're going to dive deep on it, Bob, but I think it's very important to note what he brings are intangibles because he's a cornerback. He's a safety. He can drop down and play in the box, but he also, what he does, he gives your defense great flexibility, and I think he contributed a lot to some of the younger guys being able to play in meaningful minutes. Now, let's just take a look here. This will be Logan Ryan as a middle safety in what eventually becomes a three-deep zone. Now, he drops down as a robber. This is Ryan here. He's showing too deep, but what happens is they'll drop their corners back, he'll come up, and basically play a robber in the middle of the field. And this play basically ended the game for the Giants when they played Washington. Again, just playing center field, it's not easy to do coming from a cornerback position. He's a converted corner in playing safety. But you'll see, he just drops down, he reads. He reads all of this. And he also has to read this quarterback. So he sees exactly how it's shaping up, reads it, knows something coming behind him. Now, just think about this, Bob. He never lays eyes on that. He never sees this receiver, but he sees a lot of things going this way. So he knows the complementary route is going to intersect right there. He just makes it. You know, and it's interesting because on this play, Carl, uh, this is something that Giants head coach Joe Judge had talked about that Patrick Graham put in the day before the game. But you can only do that when you got guys with high football IQs. Bradbury went from corner to the two deep safety, and Logan Ryan knew exactly where to go. He knew exactly where to go. And again, if you put something like that in the day before a game, chances are guys can miscommunicate on it, but he was smart enough and he understood how routes go. Now, you talk about the versatility of Logan Ryan. He is your slot cornerback here. So they line him up and they say, play man to man on the slot. What does he do? He lines up, good footwork, bring it back. This is technique, folks, and we're talking about versatility. Now he's played free safety, now he's playing a slot corner, but he's playing it with great technique. Good hands, good body position, Runs him right out of the route, makes a pass breakup. Yeah, and uh, you can see his footwork. He gets his hands on him. All right, Carl, uh, more versatility from Logan Ryan. Here we have Logan Ryan basically in the box, but he's got to read whatever this passing is going to be. So as the two receivers come streaking down, he's got to kind of be deepest to deepest. So he's got two receivers here. He's got a little help underneath from the linebacker. But he's got to read it, and he's also looks like he's got eyes on the outside number one there. And so he just reads it, comes in, makes the play. But he was basically a free safety there. Yeah, and teaming up with Blake Martinez and kind of squeezing that down. All right, one more uh, Logan Ryan play that we have. Well, you talk about versatility, right? You know he can cover. You know he can play physical coverage. He can play in space. Here he is, basically in the box. He's got to read it like a linebacker. And when you read it like a linebacker, you got to go feel it. And you see the runner going in the opposite direction. That's just a big physical hit there. And another thing about Logan Ryan, um, when you go back to 2018, as far as defensive backs, he has the second most sacks in the NFL with nine and a half. That's a look at Logan Ryan inside the film room, presented by Sharp.